All right, we got it all finished. Boards are up. Donald cut the plastic off. And then we let it, he went ahead and laid the plastic down in here. Um, we took the potted plants and we're using them as weights. So as we add plants, that'll come to it. But the greenhouse is done. Check it off our list for the winter. Now we can really focus on getting the uh, propagation going. And as you can tell, it's pretty good condensation in here, so it'll stay humid. And now we need to take care of other things. All right, and the muscadine. This is the great muscadine grapevine that we harvested this past year. Donald went ahead and cut off all of the old vines. We're just gonna let them decompose. And next, um, we're going to be going ahead and getting into here, the vines that are on the, uh, on the fence post. That's also muscadine, except for this one. I believe this one is a Pam or Florida grown, Florida home, I'm not sure. Our lemongrass is getting ready to go to seed. Our bamboos are doing great. Um, Donald's goes also going to take care of this grapevine today. Get that all trimmed back. And we're gonna be propagating this um, because these grapes are really good. We've had really good experience with them. The southern home. The southern home, yeah. So we're gonna try and propagate these as well. So tell us how you do this, Cut, uh, cutting it for next year. All right, so what I do is I come down here to the nodes, and like you can see right here, this is where I cut it last year. So I go about two to three nodes past that, and I cut it. And these little ones, I'll give a little snap like that. The same thing here with this little one. And then what I do with these longer ones, you can see that's where it was cut last year. That's where it was cut last year, and you can see it. I went up a couple notes. I'll do the same thing here, and then you'll untangle it. I'll untangle it. <laughs> and I'll cut some of these back, branches back, and then this one. Need new cutters. This will go into the bucket. Now, what are you doing with them, Brayden? What are you doing? Huh? You're putting. Now, what what are, you, are you doing for Daddy? What are you doing for Daddy? Yeah, it's helping out. And those are going to be our cuttings for next year. Yep, and then um, this will help the plant produce more. Yep, because it's it's it only produces on uh, the new growth. So we cut it back. Cut them back so that they'll sprout out and grow new branches, and then the uh, the grapes will form on those. That's where they produce on the new growth. Yeah, and we're cutting these back. To try to make cuttings out of, so we'll have more to plant and some to sell to some of you guys if you want some. Yeah, we'll have to talk about how we got to do this selling part. Yeah, we got our nursery license. Yeah, so Hopefully we can get some stuff propagated to sell to people so that they can grow their own. Yep. That's this, you know, that's why we started doing all this. 
our YouTube channel and all that to help people realize how easy and simple it is to grow some of your own food. You don't have to go as far as we do, but you know, if you can have some fruit trees out or uh, you know, a little garden, even if you don't have a lot of space, you know, we regrow a lot of stuff in containers. You can do a container garden. Mm -hmm. You would put some tomato plants out on your balcony. Yeah. This is the first time we've tried propagating these grapes. So. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna fill this bucket up with water when we get done. And then um, we're gonna come back and uh, get some dirt later and then uh, pot them in some pots. And uh, that's all because uh, both me and Donald actually pulled our backs today. <laughs> well, <laughs> I pulled my gluteus maximus, which I didn't even think was possible. <laughs> she broke her butt. <laughs> and you pulled your back out today. Yeah. So, That's part of getting old. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I was lifting a 50-pound um, a bag of feed out of Which our little cart. A million times. Yeah, I've done it plenty of times. And I squatted down, got my arms under the bag, and as soon as I began to lift it, I felt this tear in my left butt cheek. I was like, oh, dropped the bag. I was like, oh, what is happening? And yeah, gluteus maximus. Not fun, not fun at all. <laughs> all right, so. We're gonna go ahead and finish this entire trellis. Do you think we should um, shore up the trellis a little bit? I might get some wire later and run through it. Yeah. It's... But the grapevine itself is pretty much shoring it up. Okay. I just wanna make sure it was okay, you know. All right, so which one is this, honey? This is the Everberry Mulberry. Alright, and um, we have to cut it back because this one branch is leaning up against our well tank and uh, whenever the wind blows, it's blowing the well tank and we can't have that. No. We just got that sucker. <laughs> so, we're also going to propagate some of these leaves, or I mean not leaves, um, limbs. Nice. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this back way down. It is going dormant and um, these grow. I mean, look how big, I mean, look how tall it's grown since this last, this summer. Just like uh, this one over there. I mean, the tops of that one is insane. And it's tall, way taller than the house. This is our Mexican sunflowers. And uh, this guy, has blossomed uh, some of the lower branches so now I can actually isn't that pretty this is a great nitrogen fixing so once it's done blossoming we're gonna take some cut them back um, it does freeze during the first fall so it will fall it will freeze back but it comes back every year but we're gonna take some cuttings and also propagate it uh, we do have seeds too, but all right. So we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, this mulberry tree down to size. Okay, we ran out of buckets, <laughs> but it looks a lot better now. We don't have to worry about um, the limb pushing the well. We have to, because we're propagating, we're gonna have to wait till we get some more buckets to cut the rest of this down. Um, but as you can tell, it was, um, have some rub marks there and up here from when it was rubbing up against the, uh, the tank. So 
Uh, but that's gonna be it for today. Uh, we got to uh, get everything into the um, into our uh, little greenhouse, and Donald's picking up, getting his tools ready for tomorrow's work day. <laughs> And uh, I think that's what uh, we will call it a day. Hi, guys. Miss Cochin, Miss Orphington.